Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. I am your host, Vanilla Biscotti. And, if you're new to the show, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. If you're a longtime veteran of the show, welcome. I appreciate you tuning in. So, as you may or may not know, the new Spider-Man was released a little bit ago. So, as a tribute to that game being released, I thought I would draw Spider-Man this time. Now, as I draw Spider-Man, I'm going to tell you about a little discussion that a few people that I know we were having a couple days ago about superheroes. Now, what what makes a superhero? Is it their superpowers? Or is it what they do for others that makes them a superhero? For example, I'll give you an example. Iron Man, for example. Now, he himself has no powers whatsoever. He is just a guy that has a suit, which gives him the powers. But he's considered a superhero for one reason or another. Now, Spider-Man is also a superhero but he actually has powers. Now the main discussion we were having is does somebody need to have special powers to be a superhero? My thoughts on it are no. Let me explain. I think a superhero is classified as superhero by how they treat others. And what I mean by that is you yourself can be a superhero. And what I mean by that is if you go out and you be the best you you can be every day it's gonna make you feel like a superhero and you might you might say that's crazy you know that's that's crazy that that doesn't happen and it does and it will if you go out and you be the best person you can be boy you can be your own own superhero So, back to the original discussion. By the way, if you'd like to tell me your opinion on what we're talking about today, I'll uh, graphically display my Twitter below. You can send me a message there. Or we can discuss here on YouTube. Whichever one's easier for you. I would love to hear your opinion on the subject matter. But, I think that just to be a superhero you just have to be kind to people just be nice just do what you can to brighten up the the days of others and that makes you more of a superhero than you could ever imagine Our Spider-Man's looking pretty good. Just finished up the arm here. Okay. Now, as far as supervillains, 
Boy, there's some real life supervillains out there, let me tell you. There are some people out there that just do not want you to be happy with anything. And those, those type of people, you know what, I'm going to draw, that actually looks, I need a really light gray color, give them some shadows here. shading I'm starting to work a little bit more on shading and just just things like that give my drawings a little bit more but that didn't that didn't work so well okay I think when it comes to spider-man this one is just about done. Let me just color his eyes in here. Alright, there you have it. One perfect Spider-Man. I thank you for coming out. I thank you for listening to me. Hopefully you've learned a little something that you can use for your life. If you ever need anything, if you ever like to talk about something, or if you ever have a topic that you'd like me to talk about on my, on my show here, I'll graphically display my Twitter once again on the screen. It's also going to be down below in the description. Please feel free to reach out to me. Tell me what you think of the show. Tell me about what you think of my drawings. Just tell me anything. I'm always willing to hear what you think. This show is 100% for the fans and is 100% created by fans. So I would love to hear from you. I'd love you to hear from me. And I'd love to just meet you, hang out, talk to you, whatever. Whatever you like. Anyways, my friends, I'll see you again next time. Take care.